Hello there, Carlos here, and welcome back to my channel, your sanctuary of applied mathematics, economics, and Wolfram Mathematica coding. Today, we're going deeper into calculus to explore how we can use the rules of differentiation we explored in my previous videos to solve optimization problems. And as always, we'll dive into some Wolfram Mathematica code to understand things better and graphically. Think of optimization as a strategic game. You are looking for the best strategy. It could be finding the highest point of profit or the lowest cost possible. Those would be your maximum and minimum points, respectively. And the functions for each can take many different forms according to the context. To find these critical points, we turn to our first order conditions, or FOCs as we like to abbreviate them. The FOCs require us to find where the derivative of the function is equal to zero. But why zero, you might ask? Well, at a maximum or minimum, the slope of the function is flat. Picture standing on the top of a hill. As you reach the peak for a moment, the ground is flat beneath your feet. That is the maximum point. Similarly, in a broad valley, the ground is flat at the deepest part. That's your minimum point. And the slope of flat ground? That is indeed zero. This is why we set our derivative equal to zero. It's the mathematical representation of these turning points in our landscape. So, the places where the derivative equals zero are our potential maximum and minimum points. But without any visual input into the graph of the function, it naturally feels a bit like being blindfolded and only feeling the ground under your feet. How can you tell if you are standing at the top of the hill or at the bottom of the valley? This is where the second order conditions, or SOCs, enter the chat. If the second derivative at a certain point is positive, it means the function is curving upwards at that point. Picture the bottom of a bowl or a valley curving up on both sides. That's a minimum. If the second derivative is negative, it means the function is curving downwards at that point. Picture the top of a hill or a dome curving down on both sides. That's a maximum. This helps us distinguish between maximum and minimum points in a much more concrete way. Did all of that sound too weird, perhaps? Don't worry, let's walk through an example with this function f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared. What are the maximum and minimum points of this function? By calculating the first derivative and setting it equal to zero, we find our critical points when solving for the values of x for this first derivative equation. Then, we take the second derivative and substitute these points we have found. The signs will tell us if these points are minima or maxima. If the second derivative for any of these points is positive, that point in particular is a minimum. If the second derivative is negative, that point would then be a maximum. But let's make things easier through Wolfram Mathematica. To find all maximum and minimum points of any function that is differentiable that you may have, just type solve, open and close square brackets, within these square brackets type two equal signs, followed by a zero, followed by a comma, and then the variable, typically x. Now, right before the two equal signs, type d, open and close square brackets, within which you now type the function, comma, and the variable. Finally, hit shift plus enter and let Mathematica do its magic. Mathematica gives us the solutions in no time, functioning perfectly through computation to solve optimization problems. Mathematica not only simplifies these processes, but also offers us a chance to visualize them. For instance, I made this code right here, offering an interactive platform to see how both the function f of x and its slope at any given point change with respect to x. You can use these sliders to change the function f of x for other scenarios in terms of its exponents and constant. As you can see, the closer that we move the slider of x towards the visible maximum and minimum points of our example function f of x, 
the closer the value of the function's derivative at those points will be to zero. Remember, at a maximum or a minimum point, the slope of the function is flat, that is, zero. Lastly, it's very important that we understand the difference between local and global maximum or minimum points. Picture yourself hiking up a mountain range. A local maximum is like reaching a peak, but when you look around, you realize there are other peaks that are even higher. It's the highest point in its near whereabouts, but not necessarily the highest point overall. A global maximum, on the other hand, is the highest peak in the entire domain and range. It's the absolute maximum value the function can take, just like the summit of Mount Everest is on our planet. The exact same logic applies to minimum points. A local minimum is the lowest point in its immediate vicinity, while a global minimum is the absolute lowest point the function can reach, just like the Mariana Trench is also on our planet. Back to our example function f of x, we can see that both x equal to minus the square root of 2 and x equal the square root of 2 are global minimum points, while x equal to 0 is only a local maximum point, as the function increases indefinitely both before x equal to minus the square root of 2 and after x equal to the square root of 2. In the context of calculus applied for economics, we are mostly interested in finding these peaks and valleys, the points where our function reaches its highest and lowest values. These points can provide crucial insights into our problems, whether it's about maximizing profit, minimizing cost, or any other scenario where we want to find the best possible outcome. And that's it, my friends. One variable optimization, demystified and visualized. Remember, math is not about reciting rules, it's about understanding and intuition. And with Wolfram Mathematica, we're making this understanding an exciting journey, one video at a time. So keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, stay curious, stay passionate. This is Carlos, signing off for Angulo Live. Enjoy your day, everyone. Peace.